welcome back students today in this video we are going to understand holders inequality for finite sum firstly we will do this inequality for n tuples we are taking finite sum that's why we will do for n tuples and uh, we will prove this uh, this inequality for infinite sum also what if n goes to infinity in that case also this inequality holds we will uh, show that first we will prove for n tuples see x equals to this x is n tuple y is n tuple and here condition on p is that p lying between 1 and infinity then what we have to show summation i from 1 to n x i y i ka mod is less than equal to this one and the relation between p and q is this now when we did it in last videos lemma 1 and lemma 2 i told you that these lemmas are going to help you for the proof of holder inequality all right by the help of lemma 1 we will show holders inequality for finite sum and for infinite sum we will use this finite sum inequality and then we will use a property of convergence by help of these two statements, we will show holders inequality for infinite sum. All right. So, firstly, we will show for finite sum. See, proof is if x equals to 0 or y equals to 0, same as we did in lemma. If y x equals to 0 or y equals to 0, in both cases, we have this inequality. This inequality will hold. So, we have nothing to prove. nothing to prove so what we have to take we have to take x and y both non zero so x be non zero hai y be non zero hai Take a so nahi suppose ki both are non zero now how will we show this we will show by the help of lemma one what is the statement of lemma one lemma one is A and B are non-negative integers, one lying between P and infinity, 1 by P plus 1 by Q equals to 1 and what we have? We have A to the power 1 by P dot B to the power 1 by Q is less than equal to A by P plus B by Q. This is our lemma one. So, by the help of this inequality, we will show this. All right. Now, A equals to, what I am taking A? I am taking xi to the power P divided by summation i from 1 to n xi to the power P. This is your A. In lemma 1, we will do some substitution and substitution for A is this. In the similar way, here we use x size. In the similar way, what we use? Y, uh, sorry, b equals to, for b, we have y i raised to the power q. All right. Raised to the power q divided by summation i from 1 to n, y i to the power q. All right. Now using star. Put these values in star. When you put these values in star, what you will get? X i p summation i from 1 to n y i sorry not y i here is also x i x i to the power p whole power raised to 1 by p. Now mode of y i summation i from 1 to n y i to the power q here is also q raised to the power 1 by q all right now this is less than equal to 1 by p put value of a value of a is summation in numerator there is no summation 
x i raised to the power p divided by summation i from 1 to n x i to the power p plus 1 by q what is value of v b a value of v b is summation y i raised to the power q divided by summation i from 1 to n mod of y i raised to the power q this is your b now here is 1 by p so now what we will do we will firstly we will take summation and in next step we will cancel see if you have a by b raised to the power m you can write this as a to the power m divided by b to the power m we can use this property here so by the help of this property we can cancel this p by this this q by this all right and at the same time we will take summation also taking summation over i such that 1 less than equal to i less than equal to n as a summation there. Now see summation xi i from 1 to n divided by summation i from 1 to n xi raised to the power p this is 1 by p dot summation i from 1 to n yi summation i from 1 to n yi to the power q whole raised to the power of 1 by q is less than equal to see whenever you will take your summation here your numerator will become summation xi <coughs> summation xi i from 1 to n is ki power p divided by summation i from 1 to n xi raised to the power p see your numerator and your denominator both are same so what can i say i can cancel these two then what uh, what i will get i will get 1 by p from here and in similar way summation y i raised to the power q will cancel with denominator term so i will get this now according to your given condition what is this this is equals to 1 all right so i am erasing this now this is in product so you can take this in this side from here you will get summation x i dot y i i from 1 to n dekho see both summations are on i okay so i can write summation only one time all right is less than equal to what this summation i from 1 to n x i raised to the power 1 by p dot summation y i q i from 1 to n raised to the power 1 by q now look uh, whenever you use uh, during the proof of triangle inequalities or uh, during any proof you have used that if I take x dot y mode I can write this as mode of x into mode of y in product it will separate all right so in this is in product form so I can write this as this so here summation i from 1 to n x i so i will change this here i can write this as i dot y i where 1 by p plus 1 by q equals to 1 so this is your holders inequality for finite sum for n tuples you can say all right by the help of holders inequality for finite sum we will proceed for holders inequality for infinite sum we will do that in our next video all right thank you